Hey guys, this is Chandan Kumar from India and uh, today I have come with another exciting tutorial for you guys on CG Tutes Plus exclusively. You must have seen in the uh, preview what I am gonna tell you today. I was watching a movie Shrek part 2 and the title animation of the movie was something like this. This is not the 100% copy of the original title but uh, you will get the sense of the main thing and uh, this tutorial will surely give you a, a fine idea how to achieve uh, your desired result. I have tried to tell you about uh, how to form a text uh, with particles and I have used particle flow in 3ds Max. So uh, today's tutorial is based on Shrek 2 like uh, title animation. Not 100% but you will get the idea. So uh, let's start. This is 3ds Max and uh, let me write a text here first. Um, by default this is uh, Max text written here. I'll change this to uh, CG. Let's adjust it a little bit. Okay. Now apply an uh, extrude modifier onto this text a very small uh, extrusion will do maybe uh, 0.2 okay now let's create a particle flow emitter in the scene for that uh, go to particle system and select pf source and drag it in uh, and drag it anywhere in the viewport you can see particles are emitting now we will tweak some values and do some adjustments uh, according to the need so click on particle view or press 6 on the keyboard and here uh, uh, make some room uh, for the events uh, now uh, here is birth make the emit stop at uh, 10 now particles are emitting only till 10th frame now select the pf source emitter and rotate it something like this okay for now uh, delete shape I don't want it right now and uh, display uh, I make it uh, as dots Okay. I'm looking for the better position of the emitter. It's good for now. Let's do one thing. Um, Let's add a wind in the scene. So go to helper, uh, uh, sorry, uh, space warp, and uh, here select uh, and drag the wind in the viewport. Make the wind direction uh, something like this. But I think uh, uh, let's make it a spherical for now and. Uh, put it here and here in and here uh, in the particle flow um, I will add a force in the event and uh, let's add this wind you can see how the particles are being affected by the wind uh, it's going in the wrong direction I'll fix it up uh, in a moment but for now uh, one more force uh, I would like to add in the scene and that is drag. This is drag and uh, make it uh, 15, 15 and uh, 15. And here uh, add this drag to uh, in this force.
nothing happens uh, because we need to tweak uh, some values in wind um, so first of all uh, let's make the strength as uh, 0.5 we need to change the position of the wind too so uh, bring it here okay um, actually um, we have to see every time uh, at which position of wind we get desired result so I would say to do uh, R&D <laughs> um, so position of the wind is a very important thing uh, we need to take care of you can increase the speed of particles too uh, like 1000 and uh, variation may be 20 and in the wind increase the turbulence a bit uh, increase the frequency a bit too and uh, scale value um, it should be very low like uh, 0 0.01 or 0 0.02 now pick the wind and uh, let's uh, search uh, uh, a better position for it now you can easily see the difference uh, in the particles actions this is very important to play uh, with the position of the wind only then you will be able to get your desired result particles are spread too much here so down the strength value a bit right positioning is a very important factor in such kind of scene now in particle view uh, let's add uh, um, find target put it here in the find target um, uh, I'll choose a uh, first of uh, I'll choose first of all a uh, mesh object I'll pick uh, CG text make the speed as a uh, 1000 now particles will automatically go to the target which is CG text you can give some variation to like uh, three or four uh, or maybe 20 and now uh, increase the ease in value uh, by 100 and now what happens the particles will go to the target and stick to that okay it's good now let's adjust the wind values once again Put the wind here and uh, see what it does increase the turbulence a bit skill as the point uh, Point zero one. Lower the strength a bit. You have to see always uh, which settings give you the best result. Uh, speed is quite high so I think let's uh, decrease the speed um, 800 okay 
okay um make the speed uh, 500 increasing the strength value uh, will disperse all the particles uh, so make it uh, 0.3 yeah something like this is pretty good you have to experiment a lot until you get your desired result it's pretty good for now uh, ammeter can be scaled a bit increase the value of turbulence and uh, frequency a bit uh frequency like uh, 0.4 is enough now if you uh, wish you can make uh, these particles as uh, fireflies also or maybe uh, honeybees or rose petals anything you can model uh, what whatever uh, you like but uh, here let me make a very basic model uh, just for the example this is capsule and uh, let's drag it in the viewport I want to use it uh, instead of uh, the dots particles a very small uh, basic model just for this example so now uh, place six and uh, open the particle view and uh, here bring uh, shape instance and here pick this small capsule as the geometry object and uh, in display uh, make it geometry now all these dots particles have taken the shape of the capsule but here all these particles are not coming in a proper flow uh, so to amend that go to rotation and uh, choose here speed space follow and make the y minus 90 degree and now uh, all the particles are traveling like this and settle down here now the flow is quite good and uh, some of them are going inside of the text uh, so uh, for now uh, select the text uh, right click on it and uh, hide it now there are particles only in the scene uh, which form like CG if you think uh, the size of the particles are uh, uh, quite large uh, then in shape instance this is a uh, uh, scale and uh, make it quite low now the particles are small in size and uh, we can increase the number of the particles like uh, 600 more and more particles form the letters it will look good if you render or make it uh, 2000 now it looks more impressive it's pretty good 
so many insects are forming CG. Increase the frames number uh, like uh, till 200 is good. Oh, uh, some particles are dispersing in the end. Uh, let's fix that. Select the drag force and um, here make it uh, till 200. And uh, now select wind. And uh, right now uh, the scale value is uh, 0 0.02. Uh, so make it 0 0.01. And now the problem has gone. If you increase the scale value, it will give you different results. See this. Incredible. But for now, uh, make it uh, 0 0.01. Now press M to open the material editor and uh, choose this green color in the diffuse channel make it half self illuminated and increase some uh, specular and glossiness value apply it and uh, see the render it's looking pretty good and one uh, more thing um, in the main pf source one right click on the top bar right click properties and here enable the motion blur and now if you render the scene you will find some uh, motion blur this is a good thing to apply now everything is ready so let's move towards uh, rendering the frames rendering render setup and range uh, till 200 output size as uh, 640 and 480 will do and save it here as uh, particle text and I choose my uh, favorite uh, TGA and start rendering process it will take some time uh, uh, you can see the motion blur clearly and after a couple of minutes my rendering is finished now let's move to After Effects. Uh, here I import the image sequence I have just saved in TGA format. And let's see how it looks like. All the particles are coming and forming CG. Lovely. It's looking pretty good. See in the bigger window. I have made another version of this particle animation uh, which I have got with different settings of uh, wind values. See this is the second version, version 2 and this is the first version. I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial very much. I would always suggest you to play with the values of wind, drag and their position to get different or desired results. So let's meet in my next tutorial guys. This is Chandan Kumar from India for CG Tutes Plus exclusively. See you next time. Bye bye.